Hi Stampers, happy Friday. Welcome into my stamp studio. I am just going to get this brought up here on my iPad real quick so I can see what's going on. <clears throat> So a lot of you are going to be getting snow if you're living in the Northwest. And I don't know about the East Coast if you're still getting snow back there. I'm sure you still have it from the last big dump. Okay, so it's just going to take a minute here for me to bring this up. And then we will get going. <clears throat> okay, there I am. And alrighty. <clears throat> so I've lowered my camera down and hopefully it's not too low that it will be blurry. If it is, I'll raise it up some. And anyway, I set this up here as a reminder that it is the fabulous celebration going on. And we have the occasions catalog, which is so full of cuteness and greatness and goodness and when you spend fifty dollars then you get to pick something for absolutely free out of the celebration catalog and soon there are going to be some new things added so keep that in mind um, also just to let you know <clears throat> the ribbon um, we can't order that it it was a hot commodity and so that we can't get right now. The butterfly paper was on back order. I think it was due back maybe today. So we can probably go ahead and get that ordered. Um, and then let me just check in here. In the occasions catalog, um, <clears throat> There's a few things. This is what we're going to be playing with today. The Meant to Be stamp set and the Be Mine framelits. But I wanted to show you so many good things in here. Okay. The butterfly die punch is um, not in stock right now and neither is the gingham gala paper so the stamps here for butterfly gala or gala however you pronounce it um, you can get those but the punch is going to be on back order I believe until April so when you go in to order online you'll see it won't let you choose something if it's um, if you can't order it right now but I just wanted to let you know about those things also here is my hostess code for February so if you place an order at checkout make sure you um, put that code in and then your name will go in for a, a drawing at the end of the month and the information about this is when you go to my page it's right on the very first page you come to and I am just gonna have a swallow of my Diet Coke uh oh drop the lid okay So, let's see. So the colors that I'm playing with today are Cherry Cobbler, and that's going to be the base of the card. 
and then there's going to be some real red petal pink and then the oh I got got my finger in red so there's some on there but whipped cream are white and then I'm stamping with some flirty flamingo real red cherry cobbler and the whisper white in the craft uh, stamp pad which is like a pigment ink okay so I'm gonna start well I can fold the base card I've already pre scored it so it's just a regular standard a2 size card um, four and a quarter by five and a half once it's folded and <clears throat> so that is that I will set that aside and then here I have a five inch square of the real red and I'm going to use the envelope um, punch board to make a little envelope with this is makes the gift card size the two by three and a half inch size and so it says the score line is at two so you just put it in there line the edge of your paper up with two with the two over here and then there's a score line uh, there that you kind of have to feel for and so just as a side note <clears throat> I was really confused by this I thought the directions say to um, put it in there punch and score rotate paper 90 degrees counterclockwise align score mic with score mark with score guide I thought it meant each time you lined your paper up with the two, but that is not what you do. So you're going to turn it and you're going to line this little point up with the first score line that you made. That makes all the difference in the world. And then you score. Oops, I forgot to punch the first time, but that's okay. All right, and then take it there. What did I do? I think I made a mistake already. Maybe not. Okay, and score and punch. There we go. Score and punch. And then take this one back to where I started and get that punch because I didn't get that done. So there's the envelope. <clears throat> oh, I wanted to do one other thing. On the back of this is another punch that will round off the corner. So let me get that in there. There we go. Okay, so now you're, you have all the score marks there, and where is my phone fold? Oh, here it is. <clears throat> so you just fold it up to make your little envelope, like that. Now. I don't want that point going all the way up, so I am just gonna take a pair of scissors and snip that right off of there. So let's see, I want right about there, I guess. And then you're just going to put some adhesive on the sides right there. And pull 
fold that up and there's your little envelope. <clears throat> okay, now with the Whisper White, and I probably could have done this before I folded it up, but that's okay, we'll survive. I'm using the Meant to Be stamp set along with the Be Mine stitched framelit dies and I got that together as a bundle so when you do that you save 10% just to let you know saving money is always a good thing and there was one other tip I wanted to talk about the new cling stamps, they, they improved the cling mount to the stamps. And now they're really super clingy. So once you, you apply the label, which has the cling on them, you want to um, make sure that when you pull them off, sorry, I see that I got that in my ink pad. I just wanted to clean that off of there. <clears throat> when you pull them off, you want to be really careful because they stick really well. So either like lift very carefully up from the edge or you can stick um Now I'm working with things from my stash, so some of my things aren't stamping up yet, but we have a similar product. So there is a um, product like this in the catalog, only the Stampin' Up! version is much better and has many more tips to work with, but there's a flat edge like that. So you can stick that on the edge there to grab it and peel it up. Um, now this sets, well no, it's really sticking. So you just want to do that. You just need to either take a fingernail, like I said, or something flat that you can get right under the edge and peel it up because you don't want to rip your stamps. So that is just something to keep in mind. So I'm going to use this cute little solid heart. <clears throat> and the white craft ink and get some hearts on this envelope. Just random stamping. It's always a good idea to go off the edge So just a few little hearts here and there. And we'll do one more up here. There we go. put my puppy Todd in his playpen and the, the same thing goes for peeling it off your block you want to be really gentle and careful anyway I put Todd in his playpen and so he's in another room I can hear him crying because usually he gets to be in here with me but <clears throat> I thought maybe he would take a nap hey Nikki okay so there's the little envelope here's the card base this is the cherry cobbler, this is the real red, and then there's going to be a layer here of petal pink. But before I put that down, 
I'm going to sponge around that with the um, cherry cobbler. There's some great new dies, rectangle dies, in the Occasions catalog. I've got so many things on my list that I want to get, and of course I just can't get them all at once. So since I don't have those stitched dies yet for the rectangles, I thought I would just do the edge like that. It needed a little something something. And I'm just going to put that on the card front. And then the envelope's going to go on there. But before I do that, I have some... Look at this cute ribbon. It's just some ribbon I found at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to tie some of this ribbon on here. And I'm trying to knot it so that I don't get the back side of the ribbon. Hey Karen! Okay. There we go. And then I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back of here. Oops. Well, my gun is being a brat. Okay. And then Okay. That looks all right. Okay, and now from the stamp set, I'm going to use this little greeting that says, You Make Me Happy. And the Cherry Cobbler, or yeah, Cherry Cobbler. Karen, fun stuff at the DT design team. Is that what you're saying? <clears throat> Something going on on another channel. Oh, Dollar Tree. Yes, yeah, sorry. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> There is cute stuff. They, I saw a friend of mine that I follow on. Um, I started out following her on YouTube, and then she's on Facebook too. But she go, she makes holiday wreaths for her door, and so I had to go to our Dollar Tree, and I didn't end up getting the stuff to make one. But hers turned out beautiful, and she just gets all the stuff there. They actually had the um, wire. It's a heart wire um, 
what do you call those things? <clears throat> it's the base for the wreath. And then it, she gets all the pretty um, wide ribbons and loops on that thing. And then different uh, picks, flowers, or like the sugary hearts or whatever. Anyway, her wreath just turned out so gorgeous. So I, I went down there and yeah, they had all this stuff and then I just didn't end up getting it. I chickened out, I guess. Now, I think what she needs to do is make do a tutorial. And I think it's probably a pretty easy thing. But I just would like directions. Okay, so we have the little You Make Me Happy. And now we need some hearts coming out of that envelope. So what I am going to do is use this heart. Oh, I've already got it mounted. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. This one, and I'm going to stamp it on the pink with the real red. Wreath frame. Oh, now I think that our Dollar Tree still has that mesh and the, the ribbon. I, I'm pretty sure I saw it there. That doesn't help you out, though, but I think they still had it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that one there. Ooh, pretty! And then, oh, I better wipe this off. I know how I am, and I stick my fingers in everything. Because I am going to use that other stamp on the other side. And then, <clears throat> there's a little one that I want to stamp. What did I do with it? Oh, no, I'm not stamping it. That's right, I'm just die cutting it. So... These are the framelits, and you get a lot in this set. Look at that. I love when there's all these extras. Okay, so I am using the smallest one, and I'm going to cut that out of there. And then I am using this one for that. So let me just cut those out real quick. And I'm going to use a couple of pieces. My thing has a magnetic platform, but I like to use... This is the um, post-it note tape, and it works really good to hold your dies in place. I don't have that purple tape like a lot of people have. But I have this, and it works good. So there is that one, and there is that one. However, there's also a little frame here. Isn't that cute? So cute. Okay. It's like a little surprise. Okay, so 
for this, and I'm going to go ahead and do this so it will have a chance to dry real quick. I'm going to <clears throat> use the um, fine tip glue. Comes out nice and clear. And I'm just, I didn't want to do the outside part of this little heart, but I want to glitter up the middle. And I wanted it more glittery than the um, Wink of Stella, so I wanted glitter. <clears throat> Oh, what did I do with my lid? I've got too much stuff up here, you guys. Okay, here we go. I know I can get it back in there. There we go. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Patty. Okay. So, let me get some glitter on this. So oh, pretty. Okay, that is glittered up and ready to go. Now then, I can put that one away. And what else? On the white, I'm going to stamp this one with the flowers on the side. And I'm going to use the Flirty Flamingo. So far I've gotten all the ink pads except for the Settles. And so if I would have had the Settles, I would have use that uh, petal pink but since I don't I'm improvising and using flirty flamingo and it will be just fine and dandy me too Karen Okay, so there's Flirty Flamingo. It's nice. I mean, most of us have not met each other in person. Now, some of you I did get to meet when I went to the um, convention a couple years ago. and But whether we've met in person or not, you guys are my friends. You know, we get to learn a lot about each other on Facebook and our, about our kids and everything else. And hopefully someday we will actually get to meet each other in person. All right, so I'm going to use that same little... Hey, Seal. Hey, Kathy. And I'm just going to stick that down and run that through. So there's that one and I also got the little white frame when I cut that one out but I'm not going to use a little white frame this time so what I like to do when I have extra pieces that I'm not using on a particular card is I just stick them back in with the dies uh-oh um, and then they're there if I want to use them on another card. 
I'm going to use this gorgeousness and cut one out of the cherry cobbler. Isn't that pretty? I mean, the die alone is pretty, I think. Okay. I know this isn't the right pad to do this on, but it kind of works anyway, so it's all good. You're supposed to use the spongy one. So pretty. I love that. Now, where's the little heart? I suppose I lost it. Where did it go? It's not on here. I wanted to keep that. <clears throat> Alrighty, moving ahead. I think I've got all the pieces cut now. I think so. Okay, so let's just get situated here. And what I am going to do is I'm going to put that one in. Okay, then I'm going to use that fine tip adhesive. If I can get it out, come on. I think I need to poke a regular pen down in there and clear the tip out a little bit. It's not coming out. And my needle, and I usually have a stick pin behind me, and it's not there either. That's what happens. Okay, let me see if I can get this real quick. I know I can do it. I know I can. Okay, let's give this a try now. There we go. It's still got a clog in there, but I'm getting glue out. Okay, here we go. going to carefully get it over here so I don't get glue around the heart. And get that down there. There we go. Love that. What's really fun is you can, like, um, not on this card, but on different cards, you can put the frame down and then pop the middle up and put another thing in the middle there. 
There's so many things you can do with these framelits. Okay, I have one more heart that I didn't get made, and <clears throat> so I think we need to get that done real quick. Get this cap back in this glue or I'll never get it out. There we go. So that is... Okay, I guess I have that stamp mounted too. Here we go. And I'm going to stamp that with the cherry cobbler. This is such a pretty one. This one would be really pretty to maybe stamp in black and then color just those flowers and a few of the leaves maybe to make them stand out. That would be gorgeous. Okay. And then... I love that there's the more um, rounded hearts and then the more slender ones. I like that. So here we have the die for that. And let me just... Stick that on there. go because this guy's going to go on next am I popping him up I am I'm popping him off Alright, now this one. Oh, that's just so pretty. Okay, I'm going to put that one there. And then I'm going to put this one on top of that one. So what I'm going to do is, since that's not going to show, I'm just going to do that to hold that in place there. And there we go. Oh, poor little Todd, I can hear him crying. All right, now I'm going to put a... One there, and put that there, and then, oh, can you guys hear him? It's not even a howl, it's such a sad little sound. Okay. And there you have it. That is today's card. Now, had I had some of our Stampin' Up! ribbon, I would have probably done that instead of the Dollar Tree stuff. But the Dollar Tree stuff works and it says love on there. So I like that. 
slowly I will be getting, you know, more stuff, but it just takes time. Thanks, you guys. So I have to admit, I got the inspiration for this card off of Pinterest. And who knows when I put it there. It was in one of my things that I've saved on Pinterest over the years. And I just thought that was cute. And I thought, hey, I can do something similar. So there you have it. All right. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I really appreciate that you are here. And if you um, care to, if you want to order anything from me, don't forget to um, put in the hostess code. That's the code for February. And then you'll get your name in for a drawing. And if you spend $50, don't forget you get... Um, something free out of the celebration catalog. All right, have a great weekend. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.